Hello. Yeah, good evening, ladies. Good evening. Hello. 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 I take it everybody's been busy beavering away. <laughs> <laughs> Put three rows yeah. in and take two out. Or That's two it, in and yeah. three out. It's <laughs> <laughs> no easy. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But as I said last week, you identify that you've made a mistake. That's yeah. Uh, That's what? That is one of the things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought, thought we'll maybe just go to questions tonight to see if anybody's got anything they want to, to ask me. Mm -hmm. Hand up yet, Margaret. I'm coming to you. Thank you. <laughs> I've only just started mine today. It's going to be a very slow process. Could you just show us again how you did the knit stitch with your white? Um, you know, with it over the left hand. I think I've got a little system going, but I just wanted to see again how you did it, which might be better. <laughs> yeah, that just kept going mainly. Could you pick up the iPad, Pauline? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, yes. Um. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Can everybody see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with the the right hand you just knit ordinary. Yes. And with the left hand, your row is lying across your index finger. Yes. No, no slack, but not too tight. Take your needle in, take it over the top of the, the yarn on your index finger and pull it up too. Yeah, just move move your hands towards your right. Yeah. 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 That way. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Right. You just do that again, the right hand one just ordinary, and the left, take it through the stitch that you're wanting to knit, over the top of the rule on your index finger. It's good. Right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and pull it through, almost as if you're doing a crochet stitch. Right. Thank okay. you. Great, thank you very much. Thank you, Margaret. Um, got another couple of ladies, I think, have got their hands up. Karen, Karen, hello. I'm going to come to you. Hi, Hi Karen. Yeah, the question I have is after after you do the, the the dark the second set of dark rows and you're starting the the rounds of the actual thumb gusset, round one at the very end of it, it says. Um, repeat from star to star twice, ending with one light instead of one light too dark. So do we just, it, when I worked it out, I just completely ended up with one extra stitch, which would have been the one light. So I just completely leave out the too dark. Is that right? Well, what pattern are you using? Um, yours. Right, let me get the pattern and have a look. <clears throat> what about in Canada are you, Karen? Pardon me? Whereabouts in Canada are you? I'm in New Brunswick, St. John, New Brunswick. Great, great. Welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me again what, what part you're at? Uh, it's round one after you do the second set of two rows of dark, just above the salt and pepper. Right. Um, just, uh, just as the thumb gusset is starting. Right. So, and on round one, is it round one? Yeah. In the very last statement of that paragraph, it says ending one light instead of one light too dark. So when I came around to the end, I only had one stitch left over instead of having three to be, be able to do a one light too dark. Ooh. So I just want to make sure I'm interpreting it correct that instead of 
having three stitches to do, I should really only be having the one stitch to do, which is the one light. I can't, I can't see it. Just don't see it either. Um, just by looking at it, I can't see. No, no, I do. I? No, I can't you find it? But you should be happy. Right, round one. Where, where it says hand incorporating sequences, I take it that to point you at. Can you speak up a little bit, sorry? It's uh, the hand incorporating some increases. Is that the point that you're at? Yes. Yeah. Does it the thumb gas it? So uh, you don't increase on your first round. Right. Second round. The, the first, the, the, the front of the hand, um, there's three blocks on there. Mm -hmm. Then on the back of the hand, there's four blocks. No, I haven't got to the blocks yet. I'm just doing the very first row. So that is the blocks. Is it oh, I'm only looking at the written pattern, so I, I didn't notice if there was any blocks for me. Can you hold up your, your, your work till I see what point you're at? Yeah. Right, okay. So you're so I'm doing the very first row after the second set of two double rows of dark. Right. Okay. And when I get to the end of needle three, it, it says repeat from star to star twice, ending one light instead of one light to dark. Are you in round two? No, just round one. Yeah. Which which pattern have you got, Karen? Just make no. sure. It's the one with the lady on the front of it. No, that's not the no maze. Right. Pull up your pattern so I see which one you have. It's on my computer. Just one sec, I got to bring it up. I hand wrote them out because I can't see it. Uh -huh. It's uh, I've low I've low vision. Just one sec here. <clears throat> The SWI one. I think I think so. Uh, it must be. Okay, you gotta, I got to bring the iPad, the pad over to the computer. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's not that. It's not the one. Oops. It's that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. uh, it's, I, I I don't know anything about that pattern to be quite honest. Oh. Okay, I thought that's the one that we were getting from the store. No, this, this is this is the one you'll get. That one there. Okay, just one second. Because where I'm in Canada, I couldn't get the copies before we started the class. Um, so the lady from the store is mailing it to me. But one lady sent it to me last week. Um, let me just click on the other pattern. It's Susie. Yes, it was Susie, yeah. So there's there's quite a few different patterns. Okay, no, I'm not using that one. I was using the other one. Yeah. So I've got the patterns mixed up, and I thought this was your pattern. Is this the one that you have? I do have that, but I wasn't working from that one. Right. This is the one that you'll get. Okay. Well, that bites. Because <laughs> I was working from the other one because I thought it was yours. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll go read this one then. Ignore my question. I'll go read this one for a couple minutes. The one that you're working from was issued by a, a ladies magazine many, yeah. many years ago. It was it was a free issue. Many, many years. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, I know that this one's on its way. To you, yeah. I think you can persevere, Karen. Oh yeah, I was just what what I guess what I was confused about was where it said ending with a one L. Was I just basically ignoring the other instructions? They were just referring back to what was done in the previous row. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't two stitches short because when I count my stitches, I have eighty. So. But it's just the way it's written. And because I have low vision, I can't tell the um, periods from the commas yeah, yeah. in the pattern with my low vision. Oh, that's messed well, I'm sorry, I can't help you on that one. <laughs> Thanks. That's been failed in the first quarter of an hour tonight, ladies. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> well done, Karen, for, for getting the challenge you've got. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. That's great. Thank you. Now, no Avis has a question. Avis? Hello, me. Hello, Avis. Uh, see, I passed my thumb. Got my thumb Don't. It, it's not perfect by no more than a means. Mm. And I don't know if it's right. Should you have your two black right up the side of the thumb? Yes. There uh, should be two black right. stitches up either both uh, on each side of the thumb gusset. Yes. Aye. And what what will yes. happen when you take your your stitches off for your thumb? You'll take one black stitch from each side. Yes, I did that. I think. That's what's uh, in the gusset. Uh huh. Hold it up, Avis. Let us see where you've got to. <coughs> It's here. <laughs> that's my gust, that's my thumb there. Your fingers away, Avis. Oh, that's Can you see it? Oh, look at your name. That's great. Oh, amazing. Oh, no, I missed a stitch in the queue, I think. There is a stitch there, a black one. Do you yeah. hear? Uh, there. It is there, but it doesn't show up very well. Well, we'll take the needle and just give it a wee bit. Pull through. <laughs> 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 That's it. That's the, 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 the question I, I was wondering, see when you cast 11 stitches on, yes. what colour should you cast it on with? You do it in the middle of, your, of a pattern. Um, I'll show you. You do it across the middle of that of colours, she said. That pattern there, that block. Right. Yeah. That block. It goes across the middle of that. Because what's going to happen when you when you come when you go back to lift the stitches to complete the thumb, you will lift the stitches across the middle of that block. All right. And, and they'll meet up with the, the part, the half pattern that you're doing. You'll, you'll complete that, that half pattern. Yeah. Aye, aye. But what colour should you cast your stitches on with? I've black. cast them on with black. You'll do two black, one white, one black, one white, one black to the end, and you end up with two black. You just put a loop on. I'll show you how oh. to do it. Oh, I actually That's cast good. on the stitches. You just, um, I'll show you how to do that. Please. That'd be great. Yeah, that'll be my next bit. Right. What I'm you're going to do is you're <laughs> going to put it on as, just take, take a loop, just loop it up, and then just put it onto your needle, but you don't <laughs> miss it. Like, oh. you keep your thumb across the top, twist it. Slightly, slightly and, more me, hold it up a wee bit. Yeah, and that just, right. Too high. Too high. All oh, right, I should have done that. Yes, you don't, you don't knit, don't knit it. Just because you're going to knit it on the next round. <coughs> you just put a loop on and just leave it at that. And that right. means your rules are going to be ready for knitting at the end of that needle once you've done that. Oh, great. You continue on and knit. And knit the next, the next, the next block, which is that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, how much? So will I need to take that back again? Do you, think, do you think you're going to be able to lift your stitches at that with what you've done? To lift it, the, the one black, one white. Yes, when you come back to do it. When I come back to do it. How far on are you from that? Uh, well, just the half block. I've finished the half block. You know, I've finished that. I'm ready to do the two rows of black. I, I would just carry on, Avis, and then when it comes to, to lifting your stitches, you'll just have to do them as best as you can. <laughs> Best of car now. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I think that was all the kind when of queries. When it comes to the next one, don't, don't cast it on like you have done that time. Just put a loop. 
a loop over it. I, I wondered mm -hmm. when it said, but don't knit the loop. Don't knit it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Do not knit the loop. And I thought, well, how can you go on and not knit the loop? But as you say, it's just a loop and you knit it the next time round. Yes. yes. Uh, right. Thanks, me. Okay. Great. That's lovely. Thanks, Avis. Thank you. So now I'm going to go to Sybil. Hello, Sybil. Hello. Um, you've actually answered the question I was going to do. But because um, I'm up to my, my fingers. But I found it very difficult to knit into the loops. So was I pulling the wool too tight? Uh, not necessarily. It's it's difficult. Um, when you go to knit them, you just kind of have to, if, they, if you feel they're too tight, just try and stretch it slightly. Right. Okay. That, that's the only thing. That's fine. No, um, I, I, I mean, I, do, I did them the way that you've done it, but I wasn't sure if that was correct. So no, that was my question, right. but um, you've answered mm -hmm. it. So I'm doing it right. Yes. <laughs> Let's like, yes. pull it up, Sybil, and let us see how far you've got. That's lovely. Well yes. done. Oh, yes. down a I'm, only, I'm, only doing the I'm only doing the finger list, so I'm almost finished the block on the first finger. Great, great. Well done. Chuffed, chuffed with that. So yeah. thank you. Thank you, me. Good, good. good, good. Uh, so I'm going to go to Anne Fiddes now. Yeah. Hello, Anne. I'm going to ask you to unmute, and then I'm going to spotlight you. Um, yeah, so mine uh, is the same. The same problem there um, with this cast on. Um, I, I think I managed it. Oh, a nice colour. Um, with, uh -huh. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? It's come out well, the greens. Um, I think I managed it with this one, but uh, the thumb one. Um, and I, I did work out that you, you looped and different colours. Yes. Um, but it got awfully, um, got awfully messy at the end. I had... I suppose it will be on the inside, but the, there was an awful lot of sort of spare wool at the end. Anyway, I just I just continued and sort of tightened it up. But I think I've got a few loops underneath there, but they'll be on the inside of the gloves, so yeah. maybe they won't be too bad. If you, um, if you at the end, sorry. If you need to, you can anchor them at the end. You know, when you're going to off your ends, you can. Aye. Uh huh. But um, I had the same trouble with the with the uh, finger one. Um, and there, when I, I you just do that in the one color, do you? Yes. 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 Um, so I did it in the in the dark. Um, and oh, a couple of times it just fell off the the loops. <laughs> I got really fed up. <laughs> so I just um, I did my usual cast on <laughs> um, and thought, well, uh, but I don't know, that's going to probably mess up um, the join with the next finger, isn't it? Not going to be as neat <clears throat> because it's the same thing. You just pick up the one loop that you've made. Yes. When but, you do the second finger. What will happen at the end, when, once everything is done and you're sewing your ends in, you uh -huh. sort of bring the loose bits together at that point. Uh -huh. And nobody's yeah, going to know that at one point it wasn't right. I'm very pleased with it. I think it's um, they're, they're great. And I'm, I'm really surprised <laughs> that I've actually managed it. And the um, uh, I had yeah. done a wee sample at first in a different colour. And um, Oh, the tension was just awful, but um, it does seem to improve as you go on. You're right. Yeah, I'm still not terribly happy with this um, initial bit. I mean, you can't, yeah, oh. you can see it's bumpy. Yeah. See, see well, the pale green well, That will improve. Yeah. Bumpy. It will, will it? Yes, it will. Um, yeah, so it's underneath, um, on the inside, I think. Uh, just where I've taken it across the four stitches, <laughs> the, the, the one. And that's mm. forever happening on my fingers. I'm always dropping a needle. So uh, I'll have to go. Uh, yeah, I'll Thanks, May. Your, your instructions are, um, the, the pattern is fantastic. You know, if you, if you sit and read it, 
it, it makes sense um, after a bit. <laughs> but it is right. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Well done, Anne. Thank you. Yeah. So I think that's it. Uh, Has anybody else got a, yes. a question? If they, if they if they shout and wave at me, then I'll find them and I'll. Yes, Linda Wallace. Linda Wallace. Hello, Linda. Let me just. Hi. Thank you. I've managed to get as far as the. the I, I know I was having trouble. Yeah, I'm not there yet. on last week, but. Uh, pardon. I'm not there yet. Sorry, Linda. I'm not. I'm oh, sorry. I'm going through quite a lot of ladies. Hang on. <coughs> Why can I not see you? Yeah. Right, Linda, wave at me. Okay. I'm still waving at you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see you. I see you. I, see you. <laughs> I had trouble. I was having trouble casting on last week, and I ended up having to, to do a base roll because I kept... They kept falling off the uh, dropping stitches as well, so I put in a just a grey. Is that why it's curling? You know, I just put an extra. Uh, I just did. I just did a. But sorry. We'll start that at the end when you do right. your pressing. But I'll I'll show you what to do for right. that. I got is I've done. I've got the initials done. Uh -huh. Um, and I'm at the. I'm just coming up towards the thumb, so that was good. But I had two slight things. How do you, you said last week, increase using the loop. Now, I've never actually had to do that before. I've always just back and front. I Googled it to see how it was how it was done, but I find it very awkward, and that's when I'm splitting the stitch. Well, just, in... just do your own increase. The reason that, that we, we do the, the lifting the loop is that if you do your own increase, there's a very, it leaves a very small hole. Uh -huh. It's very small, yeah. it's minuscule. But yeah. if you do the loop, there's no hole. No, I've noticed, I yeah. have been doing it, uh -huh. but I just wondered if, it was, if I was doing it correctly. <clears throat> and the other thing I haven't got a, a proper way is when you're catching the wool at the back, I'm ending up twisting, you know, having to, Take off my hands are my hands are slightly arthritic, so I don't have much an awful lot of movement. So I can I like doing the the continental. I can do that, but it's I'm finding it quite some of the things are quite awkward, um, which is why I want to do all the finer things before I lose as much, you know, as, as I might do. But um, I'm just gonna I've got this just round, and then I have to just lay the thread across. And then do it. So I'm twi the threads are eventually twisting. Does it matter? I mean, I just have to twist them. If it's if it's twisted at the at the back and it's not seen, it, it will not matter. But no. if, you're un if you're uncomfortable about uh, catching the, your roll at the back, just leave a long loop at the back oh, right. against your work. But you'll mm -hmm. have to go back when you finish and anchor them down at that. I mean, I can do it because all I'm doing when I'm doing it, I just have to go back and kind of take take it off my fingers and just lay it across. I'm just laying it across and then starting again. I mean, that's that's the only way I can find. I can't I can't do it when I put the needles in my hand. I, mean, I don't know whether it's just because I'm not doing it properly. You know, is there a, an easy way of doing it? Well, there's there's no right and wrong here, really. As, right. long, as long as it's anchored, whether you anchor it while you're knitting or you anchor it afterwards, because you don't, well, want, you don't want long loops at, at the end, right. you know, for rings and fingers and, and things, you know. Well, I've, I've managed so far. I'm, I'll just continue doing it. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm managing, okay. I'm surprised that I've got as far as this. Yeah, let's, um, see, let's see it again, Linda. It looks lovely. That's, that's, that's it with the initials. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's it with the it's not I mean I know I've got mistakes and I know it's not terribly you know it's not terribly good but <laughs> this is my sample and I'm you know so that I can try and get it done I've wanted to do this for so long that you know I'm really keen to get on with it and I've been sitting quite a bit I'm, I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it oh, so well. 
I think it's a bit, t I think I'm too tight. I think my tension's a bit tight. Yeah, so is mine. But I can get it, I can get it over. I, mean, <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I can get it over my hands <laughs> at the moment. Uh -huh. so, but it is, it's kind of curling over it. So it's maybe me and my tension, but I I'm enjoying it. So thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Last week, a few people said it was curling, didn't they? So I think maybe that's yes. is that a thing, yeah. maybe, that it curls a little? Uh, if there's nothing involved, it, well, it, it will curl. Yeah. But there's a way of sort of alleviated a bit at the end, you know, mm -hmm. when you come to, to finish it off and just before you press it, we, we mm -hmm. do something and it, it does help. It, it doesn't do away completely, but it does help it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Linda. That looks lovely. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to go to Nancy now. Hi, Nancy. I'm going to ask you to unmute, Nancy. Hi there. Hello. Hi, hi me. Hello. Do you have any tips, right, for the the end of your needle, the two stitches? Um, how can I explain it? On your, you know, your joints. Yes. How do you keep the tension of them right? Yeah. What, what pattern? Because what pattern are you using? Yours. Right. So that there's a black stitch. Well, I haven't got black, but mm -hmm. there's a dark stitch in each one. Uh -huh. And the tension's fine uh -huh. over that, but you can always find my end of my round because mm -hmm. it's, there's a bump. A wee rib, a, almost like a wee sticky up bit. Mm -hmm. Aye, yeah. it's a wee bit bumped. Yeah. Just don't pull. Is there any tips? Uh, it's, it's just it's just practice, really. Don't pull it too tight. Right. You don't want it uh, too slack either, but just firm, firm, I would say. Firm. Right, just practice. But, but again, that, that wee ridge might uh, flatten out once you press them. Right. Well, it should a bit. It should, right. It's... It's not bad. Maybe press no help. Mm -hmm. Always okay. helps when you press them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That, that looks lovely, Nancy. Well done. Uh, does anyone else have any uh, questions for me? Shout, shout, and I'll come and find you if you do. Yeah. Who's got a question? Sandra? Yes. Hello, uh -huh. Sandra. I asked the other day about um, a, the needle poking into my fingers. I had real trouble with that. And it was that I used cut off leather gloves. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I was thinking of was the needles I have are only six inch. Should I have got bigger needles? Hey, um, I always use a six inch. I'm happy working with six inch. Right. Okay. I say that the majority of people prefer six inch. There'll be some people that prefer the longer ones. I do a lot. I get a lot of salt, and it's always the bigger needles I use for that. Well, you you might have been more comfortable on a longer needle. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's why I'm getting jagged just so much. The other thing is, I've got I can't. Uh, you split your colours on uh, one over one finger and one your right hand. I'm really struggling to do that. Mm. Um, I do I've done a lot of fair aisle and I'm used to having both the you know colours all in my one hand. Well, just go with that that method if that works for you. That's fine. Yeah. I also think I'm, I mean I've, I've had this now for about two years. And that's as far as I've got with it. But I sat this afternoon after watching your first lot and got lots of hints. And I thought, no, I'm going to persevere with this. Mm -hmm. The pattern that I've got is the WI one. Um, that one. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. So I bought, as I say, I bought that. I will persevere with it, but I've got Carpal Tunnel mm -hmm. in my hands, both my hands. And this one, I have no grip. I can't close my fingers, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I struggle with my grip. 
-hmm. and holding the thread and the needle so <clears throat> but I will persevere and try because I really like them I think they're beautiful gloves yeah if you, if you have a method that like your sterile method of working with two colors in one hand that's fine yeah I, I'm going to have to stick to that because I can't grip, I can't grip the wool with my left hand yeah. it, it, I can't feel it it just falls out uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a wee bit with that the right hand is better because I've had the surgery for that all right but the left hand I, I haven't had the surgery yet so it, it, it's really it's quite poor hmm. but thank you because there's lots of little hips, tips I did make a pair of gloves uh, once and, and that uh, using the loop for the extra stitches I, I didn't I didn't do that I, I did a cast on it which made it tight so uh, your loop would make it much looser and uh, so that's a great tip uh-huh good good great yeah. that's brilliant can I ask, a question, please? Please? Thank can you. I ask a question please yes, Jennifer Miller hang on one sec till I find you hang on yeah. <coughs> let me see wave at me so I can see you ah Jennifer hello hello I'm Okay. Yes. Please. I'm having great difficulty keeping the wool over my finger on my left hand. Have you got any tips yeah. for that? Mm -hmm. Sell <laughs> 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 You don't have another method of doing working with the two colours. Right. Do do you? So do I just have to trial and error, is it? Well, I, I tend to. To look at round my pinky first and then thread it over my fingers, and that tends to keep it uh, quite firm. Right, because it goes, it just keeps going slack. So over your pinky first. I do it. Um, Let me see if I can find your um, iPad a minute. Me. Okay, hang on a sec. Can you see that, everyone? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Put it over my pinky and then lay it over your fingers. Oh, right. I okay. Do, I do this every day and now that I have to I do know, it. I know it's hard, isn't it? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when someone says, How do you drive? and you can't drive anymore. It's like, <laughs> um, and I just, and it took, because I put it around my pinky first, or it could be any of your fingers, it could be your, you know, your, your ring finger and then. Right. That, that, that just keeps it steady. Stables it. Just right. that stable Keep your hands still there, still, still there, May. That's great. That's lovely. Right. That's very well. Okay. Thank you very much. Great. I hope, I hope that helps. So I'll you, try. Jennifer, how are you getting on? Let's see how you're getting on. What, me? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done any all week because I'm. Busy knitting a baby shawl for a baby that's due in two weeks' time. Oh, lovely. I need to get that finished first. That's a good excuse, um, Jennifer. Well done. That's a, yeah, I'll keep at it. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. You know how much I've knitted? Nothing. So, you know, that's... Oh, well, I'm, I'm ahead of you then. <laughs> <laughs> um, does anyone else have any questions for, for me? Hello. Yes. Can I Can I oh. ask me? Who's, who's that? Wave at me, oh, darling. Helen. Helen. Helen Braid. Hang on a sec. Hello, Helen. Hello, Helen. Hello. I have got a finger done. Oh, I well can done. show you. Hey. Oh, good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, very very good. good. But now, but now I've got to get the next finger done. <laughs> and I'm, I've cast it on, but I'm not just sure if I've cast it on, right? How am I supposed to do that, me? Um, for, for your next finger. Yeah, my your next finger, yes. Lift the stitches on your, your cast on edge for your first finger. Right, that I've cast it, I've done that. Right, you've lifted the stitches, right? Yes. Yeah. And then what do I do? You well, you take your um your eleven from the front of the, the wee eleven. Yeah, the, the uh huh. Right. And then you're going to cast on eleven for uh your next finger, the one that you're going to work on. Mm -hmm. so is, that a hoop? is that just doing hoops? Yeah, do you see where I did that earlier on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's what I have to do there. Uh, you'll do it on a separate needle. 
Right, I've got a, I've got a wee thing here. We we need we hoops. Yes, yes. Is that what I have to do? Bring your third your needle three to needle one, and that com completes. Right, so that right. That round. That that's me sorted. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Fine. Okay. Right. Okay. That's I'll try that. Yep. Yep. And then once you, that, once you've got that done, once you've got that your decrease is done. Um. That. Oh yes. That, that's it. That's uh -huh. what you're aiming for. Can you see it? Yeah. I can see it. We triangle. It. Uh -huh. Triangle, yes. That's mm -hmm. what you're aiming for. When, what do you think you have your decreases done? Uh -huh. it'll look like. Do them and then, yeah. And it should look the same as your first one. It should come up. It should come up like the first, the first one's got a, a line up there. So the next should have a line up as well. Yes. Sorry, I'm making got talking gobbledygook. Aye, right. Uh -huh. I think I know what I'm doing. I think I'll try anyway. If not, there'll be a ripping out going on. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, May. And I'm managing. I'm managing the two needles now much better. Well, good. Good. Last week I couldn't get the, but I'm managing. Persevering. Yes. Good. Thank good. you, May. Okay. Thank you. Is there any, anyone else who's got a question? I thought I saw someone else with a question there. Uh, Nancy, are you? Do you have another question, or was that you? you we just haven't put your hand down. That's fine. That's fine. I'll That's put, okay. Um, anyone else got a question? No. So, me, you said you were going to do a little something different tonight, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Evelyn, hang on a minute. Evelyn is asking for the address. In Sankar, Sankar for the pattern for the gloves. Right. Um, she says, I'm not. Uh, Evelyn, are you here? Evelyn, make yourself known. I, I'm here. I, I'm not a oh, fancy oh. knitter. So you, you can explain what you want, Evelyn, yeah? I would just like the dress for you to get the pattern because I was telling Lynn, a uh, president, about it. And she says, oh, she'd knit it the before, long ago. So she's uh, wanting the easier pattern mm -hmm. and the stuff. So okay, I've got, I can give you the phone. I can give you the address, the phone number, and the email address. Okay, perfect. Uh, well, the phone number is o one six five nine one six five nine five o one eight eight five o one eight eight. Uh huh. And it's ten house and crafty artists. Pardon? Yeah, the name of the company is Stenhouse. Stenhouse. Stenhouse and Crafty Artists. Stenhouse and Crafty. I knew it was Crafty, I just couldn't. I mean, I've written it someplace, but I couldn't find it. Okay. Do you want the email oh, address or not? Yes, please. That would be fine. Right. It's contact. On. Contact. C O N T A C T. Uh -huh. At crafty artists. Crafty artists. Dot co dot uk. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm enjoying everybody's knitting right enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the conversation. <laughs> Yes, concentration, concentration. I think, I think, me before before we go on to your special um, part for, for tonight, I thought we might go through a few people and see how they're getting on, because that might be good. Because then we can do a few people getting on, then we can do a bit of your your chat, and then we can come back to see how other people are getting on. Yeah, because it's cause it's nice to nice to see everybody's work so far. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go to. Moira Murray, can I come to you? Okay, hang on a second. I'm just starting to increase for the gusset. Um, I've got, um, you can see that. Oh, yeah, uh, very good. I've got my initials, I've got that, but that's as far as I am. That's so great. Get, that's getting there. Good. Nice Slowly but surely. Well done. Thank you. Great. 
Um, and now I'm going to go to uh, Linda McMinn. Can I go to you? Hang on a sec. Uh, hello, Linda. Oh, hello, Colleen. Yes, I'm getting on. Okay, I've started the finger. Um, can you see that? Oh, oh yeah. Lovely. Colour's good. Yeah. Good, yeah, good. The finger now, but I think I'm mastering it. There is some mistakes as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. <laughs> you see that that's the beauty of Zoom. I'm not going to see the mistake. No, we <laughs> we're, we're not going to put a, fit, a hand in your glove, Glinda. So you know it might have loads of loops inside, but I can get my hand in, so it's fitting okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank, thank you for your tips, mate. Super. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, I'm going to go now to Selma. Hello, Selma. Hello. I'm. Uh... Oh, they're very nice. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yes. Yeah. And I only had some uh, questions about the thumb, but you already uh, explained that. So yeah. thank you. Good. Good. Okay. Good. And where where are you based, Selma? Where I should. I'm ask... from Holland, the Netherlands. You're in Holland at the moment. Yes. Oh. Well, always. Oh, well, good. <laughs> Ooh, we, oh. we were to Scotland and we weren't so far from Senqua. We were at Crawford John once. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's very close. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, well, and we're hoping you come back when it's when all this nonsense with COVID is over. So. <laughs> well, we hope this summer, we hope to, to get vaccinated uh, somewhere in May if, if we get enough vaccines. So then we come back in... Uh, we will go to the Owl Sky. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 So maybe we love Scotland. Yeah. Great. That's great. Good. Thank you. We, we love tourists, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you've been to been to Scotland before, so you know that May and September are the best months. Yeah. Yeah, but my husband only gets a uh, uh, vacation in in August, so we always go in August. August August is okay too. It's just yeah. The midges are the midges are they're they're worse than ginger. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you, Selma. That's that looks great. Thank you. Um, let's see. How is Debbie B getting on? Debbie B, are you are you? Oh, yes, I'm here. I'm not getting on at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've stabbed myself to death oh, umpteen times. Oh. And it tends to go, cast on all the stitches, start knitting, start trying to put in my first colour on the left, can't get the hang of that, drop half my stitches off of the other <laughs> end of the needle, not be able to pick them up again, start all over. So it's, it's I'm getting good at starting over. <laughs> One of these days I'll get a whole row without a problem. <laughs> Just, I'll just have to keep at it. Yeah, any tips, me? Perseverance. Okay. <laughs> yeah. that, that's why I. That's why I did the row of just I knitted round the first row just straight black. I just knitted it straight round so that I would keep my my stitches on because I kept doing exactly the same. They just kept coming off, and that was the way I found it was easier to take the one colour and go through so that I could actually get started and try it. Yeah, I might have to have a go at that. I, I don't know whether it really works, but that it worked for me that way. Yeah. That's great. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Linda. Uh, now I'm going to go to Dorothy. Can I come to Dorothy? Oh, yeah. look at you. You've got... Last week, last week, I don't know if Lynn's on tonight, yeah. but last week she said that um, she was doing the fingerless... Yes ones and it was awfully wide well i had a wee try um this yeah, week great that um and well I, I mean i started with 60 on the cuff and then 70 for the hand and i went back down to the 60 and it actually fits quite it fits quite nicely mm -hmm. and, um, second one i had a mistake so i was picking it back <laughs> <laughs> I'm also doing little tiny ones. 
in two ply on size, oh. the old size 16 needles. So they're, oh, they're, they're quite good. small. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. That's lovely. Uh, Shirley, I'm going to come to you. Hi, Shirley. How are you doing? Hiya. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I'm way behind everybody else. I've just finished my cuff. Great. and I've just started my initial block. Um, yes, it took me a while, May. Thank you for the, the advice on that. I have been persevering with the two-handed. And yes, it's, uh, it, it's great for stopping your needles getting twisted. But uh, I, had to, I had to develop the finger still as well because these tiny <laughs> Cabin in, but uh, yeah. but yes, it's, uh, it's great. I'm I'm quite pleased with it so far. I don't know how I'll get on when I come to the the blocks, but we'll see. Hmm. And the fingers terrify me, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll I'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Great. But yes, I'm enjoying it. Great. And the pat the pattern is very very clear to read, so that's great. Good. I, when I wrote it, I just tried to do it based on my experience. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the things that I found that were tricky. I just tried to explain them clearly. Do you know, do you know that it, listening to you, I don't, I don't knit, obviously, me, but listening to everyone talk about the, the pattern and everything, it reminds me of um, Jamie Oliver is, a, you know, he's a, he's a great chef and he's got, he's got, 30 odd books that he's written and, and but he has a team of 30 cooks home cooks that the recipes go out to those home cooks and they mm -hmm. refine it so if it, if they get confused by anything then it gets changed so that's why his books are so popular because they're they're tested and uh, but they're not tested by experts they're tested by tested the real people normal people that, that go what does that mean I don't know what that means you know and uh, so that so that, that without without dumbing down because dumbing down is no good but without dumbing down you just explain things in a very easy to understand way and that's that's a that's a great talent mm -hmm. that was one thing I did when when I did the first pattern the first one I did was the juke it took me oh, months and months and months I think it's two or three years before I, I got it the way I wanted it Mm -hmm. um, and I put that out to three different ladies yeah. and, I, and take their uh, feedback on board. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. That's great. After that, it was, it was uh, um, yeah. a case of changing the, the, the pattern, really, but the, the basic tips and everything's the same. Mm -hmm. So how many, how many patterns have you actually written, me? Nine. Nine, well... Mm -hmm. I just record them. It's not, it's not my invention. Yes, no, yeah, you didn't, you didn't it's, it's record them, but, you, but yeah. you're passing them on. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, great. great. I still have to do seven. Oh, great. Well, that's a that's a challenge for you. That's good. Well, yes, I've been sort of taking a wee rest. <laughs> I yeah. have to get geared up to, to start them again. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you very much, Shirley. That's that's lovely. Um, I'm going to go to Mo. I know that Mo Bates, you don't look like you're knitting, Mo, but you look like you're enjoying it. So tell us a little bit about what you're up to. Hi, guys. Yes, I've been finishing off some um, other knitting mm -hmm. before I got started because I just sent for the pattern yeah. and, and the needles. So I'll show you what I've been doing. Okay. I was doing a scarf. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Wow. Um, and I, I think, it, ho I'm hoping it will stand me in good stead for, for following May's pattern. And I had to dash off last week with a wee bit of a crisis. So um, I thought I'll finish what I'm doing and uh, hopefully get started on the on the gloveys yeah. next week. Show us, show us your scarf again. How long, how long is it, Mo, at the moment? That's Wow, that looks amazing. How so is that a sanker pattern or is that not? It's not a sanker pattern, no. Mm -hmm. Um it was one that um, my husband had bought me a knitting book yeah. just on spec, um, because I've been trying Fair Isle. Yeah. And I thought he he wanted a scarf first, so I did him one. And um in the Fair Isle. But in the book I'd seen this yeah. arrow pattern. 
but the the wool um it was jameson wool now mm. it used the jameson and smith wool for the first one and it was okay but this was horrific i i actually emailed them about it and said <laughs> i don't know if it's me or did i just get a bad batch but within the first few rows i think it broke about half a dozen times yeah <laughs> Anyway, they wrote back and said, oh, it must be just be you. We haven't had any other complaints. Look. <laughs> 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 you know, and you could send it back to us if you want. So I said, no, I'll, I'll, I'll persevere with it. But I, I do I do worry about how it's going to last. So I picked up some material on eBay. Let's see what you think. Oh. And I thought I'm going to line it. Oh yeah, lovely. With with this in the back, so I thought it might look quite nice. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks mm. cool. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. But I, I'd be really worried that it's not going to all that work and it's not going to be very um, sturdy. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was I was pleased when my uh, my sanker wool arrived and I thought, yeah, that looks proper wool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, um, the other the, the the way that you can preserve that scarf then more is you could always put it in a case. Wall, that's what I do. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm up north of Inverness, and we I, I need a scarf. I really need a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> it's where freezing. You, where do you base more? I'm in North Keswick, just oh, above yeah. Inverness. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know it. I know it well. I know about. Well, I know North Keswick. I've got relatives in North Keswick. Yeah. Ah, great. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to give me a shout the next time you're coming up. I'll be able to pick your brains over a cup yeah. of tea. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. Thank you very much, Mo. That's lovely. No, I really enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Good, good. So, um, Liz, I'm going to come to you, Liz Hay. That's okay. Hello, Liz. You're on mute. Sorry. You're on mute. That's it. That's it. Uh, no, it's not. Let's see. I've, right. I've had mine in and out four times, me. So <laughs> I've given up with the Sanker rule. I've gone back to the Jimison and Smith stuff. But where is that? No, that's the end of the first needle on the rib. Oh, yes. There's a bump. Why? <laughs> It's just because you're going from one needle to the other, really. Is it? Yeah. And apart from that, I'm unpicking at the moment. So I'm not that far on because I've been doing other things like um, knitting poppies for a Remembrance Day for the memorial. All right, yeah, yeah. You're, not, you're doing that already? That's interesting. Well, I've got 36 done so far. Well done, well done. Well done. You know. Do you, want, so. do, you want to, do you want to start a, a poppy making factory then, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What I mean is, you could you could uh, you could host the host a knit along for that. Pardon? You could host a knit along for that if you wanted to. Don't. I'm not. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to twist my arm? <laughs> me, me will tell you how these things start. Very small acorns, and then they become huge oaks, don't they, me? Well, I just got a phone call to say, well, this is you think this is a good idea. And before I knew it, I was agreeing to do it. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I thought, what have we done? <laughs> but I'm enjoying it, me. I'm in, I'm in, I mean, I'm enjoying doing it. But the pattern that Karen was using from Canada, uh -huh. I've used that pattern on a scarf and a hat thing, yes, Sammy yes. thing. That I'm, I made years and years and years ago. <laughs> and I think that was the first thing I'd ever done with the kind of sanker knitting. Uh -huh. uh, I've got the back pattern, but I've, I've not used it. But because it was only a block, you know, it right. was just a block. I've uh -huh. still got the scarf and I've never used it. Uh -huh. And the hat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As you do these things for competitions and oh, put them in a cupboard. Tell me about it. But no, thank you very much. I'm enjoying it. There's a lovely pair of Sanker gloves in the um, one of the loan boxes in, in SWI. There's these 
I, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the loan boxes. They're like little um, brown suitcases, mm -hmm. and they've got lots of different items in them. But there's a lovely pair of Sanker gloves and, and, and Sanker socks in one of those boxes that I saw in the in the HQ. Very nice. You, did you make them, May? No. No. I've knitted one sock. There, there actually is a sock pattern. Um, was that was that for for a one-legged person or? <laughs> and I've only knitted one sock and I said I, I vowed I wasn't going to knit another right okay <laughs> I did it for my display I... but there's a specific uh, you can do socks in any of the patterns uh, I inherited one or two uh, socks that somebody else had uh, knitted and when she passed away I got her socks uh, but I've only knitted the one mm -hmm. in the, this mm -hmm. specific sock pattern. All right, so you, you then, do you, am I getting it right, that you then get, get an item and then work out what the pattern is from the item? Do you do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you, have a pattern, do you have a pattern passed down to you to, to knit the, knit the, to create a new pattern, to group, to... Oh, I, I see what you mean. Well, a lot of it was when I, when I knitted the, the, that sock in the sock pattern, I had to work out what to do. Yeah. To yeah. 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 That's, that's quite impressive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that was why it's important to, to write these things down. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So thank you very much, Liz. Um, Wilma, I might come to you. How are you getting on, Wilma? Slowly. <laughs> getting on slowly. Um, this is mine. I've got the cuff done and I'm busy doing halfway up the letters just now. But I'm doing it um, when I can concentrate, when it's daylight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, um, it's when I'm sitting doing it. Um, but I've had, there's been lots of family things on, both medical problems and whatever. Well, and I've had to see to relatives, yeah. so I've been going very slowly, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah. Love doing it. I did the cuff, and I've got the two-handed idea, and I love knitting socks, so I can see how it's going to come in handy. Knitting mm -hmm. socks, I'm learning things here that I'll be able to use in socks oh, that's good. afterwards, but I'm thoroughly enjoying doing it. Yeah, very mm -hmm. good. Good for the brain. Yeah. <laughs> And eye co hand eye coordination. Yeah, and of course, Wilma, you were the you were the instigator for all of this nonsense. So well done. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying <laughs> listening to all the tips and seeing what everybody's doing. Yeah. Totally mm -hmm. impressed. Great. Whether it's Sorry. right or wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. thank you, Wilma. Uh, Elizabeth Farr, I might come to you. I'm going to ask you to unmute, and then I'm going to add spotlight. <coughs> Hello, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing fine, thanks. Um, I'm still trying to master getting the needles in the right position for when I do my rounds. Mm -hmm. I have mastered doing the two, the, the, the light colour in my left hand. So it's still a case of ripping out an awful lot, but keeping practising. And I'm full of admiration watching everybody putting away tonight while they listen to this. Mm -hmm. I'm persevering. Okay. And uh, Liz, uh -huh. at the Federation meeting, I want to see your hat and scarf. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might not be there with uh, my second jag the day before. Oh, yeah. Oh, you'll meet them then. <laughs> you can send a picture though, Liz, can't you? Oh, yes, I can send, oh, yes. But, I can send a picture. But no, I am, I am enjoying this and I think May's got some great tips for us. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go to Alison Argo now. Hello, Alison. I do Hello. love you've always got the Northern Lights behind you, Alison. I love that. I'm still having <laughs> got the office tidied up. <laughs> um, Wait a minute, Alison. It's fine. <laughs> you haven't seen it because um, I've been trying to do a clear out today. Master the two hands with the wool, but I've oh, listened no, to you. So I'll maybe get that in the next when I get the next one. I've got. Oh, what am I? Well, it's uh, lovely. Wow. Great. 
trying to get up so that I can see how to do the fingers properly. I have done the um, the casting on. I did it all in black. I, you know, at the thumb because I, I hadn't caught on to what you to do. So you loop it in the colours you want it to be. Yes. Yeah. Well, this one's all black. Good to be. But <laughs> someone, someone told me when I used to do evening classes, sewing evening classes, she was doing a canvas work belt and she made a mistake in the middle of it, right at the front. And she said, but that makes it unique to her. <laughs> I have got a mistake further down, but I'm saying it's unique to me. Yeah. <laughs> really great. Cool. So I'm hoping hoping to get to the finger so that I can try and get it properly put on because I think I've just got another half square to do and then I'll be to the fingers mm -hmm. and hopefully I can manage to get them done better. Mm -hmm. Well our, our, next, our next Sankar um, Knits Along is on Monday at 7. Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah so that Monday. sounds quite good because it's not too far away. So if, yeah. it, if there's any you know we can kind of catch up and, and uh, hopefully that'll be helpful for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, yeah. you look great. Oh, well, we'll have a, hopefully be there for then. Yeah. But thank you, me. I'm enjoying <laughs> this. We've got, we've, got two, we've got two more after that, so don't worry. Don't worry, don't, don't feel pressurised. <laughs> Is the lady on who's doing the cushion pants? Um... Anne C. Um, Anne Coleman, are you here? Don't think so tonight. No. No. No, don't think so tonight. So, um, <coughs> shall I keep going, May, or do you want to give a little bit of? Well, it depends how long you want to go. Well, we we're we're a quarter of an hour over now, but but no, I I don't, I'll, I don't I'll, mind. But I'll leave you... it for another night. It's okay. I can leave it for another night. So. But, there was one thing I did want to say that, that I was thinking about that some people were having difficulty getting their initials in the space that was available. Um, if you are putting in the dots after the initials, leave them out, and that would save you one or two stitches. Uh, I know that some people have not put, I don't think you've put them in, Edith, have you? No. Yeah. no. But some Nobody people do put them in. Leave them out um, because that would save you um, some space as well. Mm -hmm. And I was going to show you the lifting of the stitches at the thumb, but I don't think anybody's at that point, so I'll just hang on to that bit as well. Well, that can, mm -hmm. that can be the teaser for Monday, yeah? <laughs> yeah? So I think we've got a couple of ladies that we haven't quite seen what they've got, what they've got up to, so... Mary, Mc, Mary McNee, can I come to you? Yeah, well, I, I haven't got my knitting with me because it was on a, another Zoom meeting earlier that's on. That's all right, that's all right. Well, I started with 1.75 needles and I found it very matted looking. So I've actually started to knit another one with 2.5 needles and it seems to be working all right. Mm -hmm. So I just found it, I just, I just, and I found it would be a very small, I wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been able for my hand with the 1.75 needles. You know, it was working out, you know, the, it seemed to be awful small and, and matted looking. Mm -hmm. So what, what ply of wool are you using? What the, the three ply, the sanker wool. Yeah. You think, is that a tension thing or is that something else maybe? Well, that's what I would say. Right? Yeah. So, uh, something, something else would be equivalent to uh, 13, would it? Uh, it, seems, it seems to be working out all right with the, the you know the larger needles. Mm -hmm. you know, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually finding it easier as well to knit with the larger needles as the, the, the 1.75. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So. And do you have to put the initials in? Because I've got, with, with me, I've got a few. I was going to do it without initials. You don't have to, no. There is a no. section in the, in the pattern that uh, um, addresses that if, you, if you're not putting initials in. Uh, well, I, I got with the, the small needles, I was getting up to the part where the initials were going and I still felt it was, I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with it, so I thought I would just start again with the larger needles. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, they don't look much different in size, but see, I think they're 2.5. And I feel it's working out better oh, for well. me. I feel, like, I feel it'll be the size that will fit me then if I use these needles. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll see what they're like. I'll keep going and see what they're like by Monday, Monday night. <laughs> I'll have them with me then. Great. Good. Thank you very much, Mary. That's great. Um, I'm going to go to Margaret. I'm sorry, I don't know your surname, Margaret, but you're Margaret iPad. Uh, uh, I'm Margaret. I'm Margaret Rob. Hello, Margaret. Uh, Hello. I I have I'm I'm enjoying just listening to his own knitting because mm -hmm. I've I've done sign her gloves. I've knitted three pairs okay. and I've even knitted a a jumper with the Duke pattern. Okay. Oh, wow. So so at the moment I'm just uh, I've got the Shetland wool in my stash and I'm just going to, I'm knitting up and I'm going to put a a pattern on the top. Oh, lovely. So that's what I'm at the moment, but I'm fairly enjoying all your chat and yeah, and uh, you can all how you are all getting on. <laughs> yeah. where, 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 which institute are you in, Margaret? I'm in Slamanen, oh, Stirling and Federation. Oh yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank so. you. I know I know your name from from Facebook, but um, it's nice to say hello. <laughs> that's nice. We're enjoying it. Good, good. Um, can, I, can I ask another question, please, Pauline? Who's that? Jennifer Miller. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Um, just uh, what the, the previous, not the previous one, the one before, I think mine is a bit tight as well. It looks very small, and I've got small hands. Mm -hmm. Mine looks small. Would I be better? See, I can hardly get yeah. it on like that. It's probably my tension as well, but would I be better just using bigger needles? If, if you're not happy with what's there, I would put it onto a bigger needle. A but bigger needle. And yeah. how much bigger would I go? Only one size, I would say. But if if you want a true um, uh, judge mm -hmm. it, put your stitches onto four needles and then see if you can put your hand in. Right. Okay. <laughs> just just knit along a half half way on your on a needle that you've got there. Right. Then try it because it, it gives better if there's the four needles. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Just five one really. Right. And and I know I've not got very far, but I'm lost to pull that out and start again. Knit <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> halfway along your next needle. I'll do that. Then, then try it. And you'll right. be a, a better, you'll be a better judge at that. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you very much. Sometimes if you just do it with three needles, I mean, it, there's not enough give there. There's not. It doesn't stretch enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. That's great. Can I can I just say as well before I go off? Did anybody see Karen and Connie on Paul Merton, like Glens and Lochs last night? Oh yes, yes. I didn't see it, but I saw pictures of it. Yep. Yeah. It was nice to see her again. Karen Engster and our horse Connie, yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can catch yes. us, can't you? On, is it BBC? It was BBC One, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Player, yeah. No, she's, uh, she's, done, she's quite, done quite a few things. Karen actually works for um, Scotways, which is the, which it, it, they clear all the paths and they, they, they make sure all the walking paths are, are um, good for hills and and walkways and things like that all around Scotland. So That's right. She's, she's one she, of did, the, she said that last night. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, the mm -hmm. Old Rights Away Society. That's right. That's right. So, um, yeah, she's, she's, she's done. Could I come back in, please? Uh, yes, who's that? Uh, Mary McNee. Hello, uh, Mary. Hang on, hang on a May, second. May said to, to the lady there about using four, well, using five needles. So would that, I mean, I've got, the set's got five needles in it, the 1.75 ones I've got. So, no, could I, what I meant was yeah. when she was going to try her glove on to see if it would go over her hand, she was yeah. trying it with just her stitches on three needles. But if she yeah. used her fourth needle and yeah. half yeah. along a, a, row, a, a needle, and to distribute her stitches over four, she could judge it better if she could try it on. All right. No, I, well, that's, that's fine, thanks. Okay. Great. Thank you. Now, I'm just going to do one last sweep and make sure I haven't missed anybody out. So <laughs> if I've missed you out already and you, and you want to show, your, show what you worked on so far, can you please put your hand up? 
Ooh, I think I might have got everybody. Have I got everybody? Yeah. Yeah, I've got everybody. That's good. That's good. Now, me, we're gonna do. We're gonna do Monday at seven o'clock. Monday the fifteenth. So the next, the next three, the last three um, uh, uh, sessions that we have this month are Monday the fifteenth at seven, Wednesday the twenty seventh, twenty fourth at seven. And Monday the 29th at 7. Okay? So, um, just so you've got everything just in front of you. Because I know I've put it on the I put it on the event on Facebook. So, all the, the list of everything's on there. But just so you've got everything to hand. Now, next week as well, we've got a busy week. Because we have, a, on Tuesday at 2 in the afternoon, we've got a baker's question time. So, if you've got any baking-related question... That you need an answer to and um, we've got two swi demonstrators who are going to give answers to different issues problems challenges you, ha you might have in in terms of baking on wednesday we've got an author um called ginger lee baker and she is uh i don't think her surname is baker sorry it's ginger lee and she is uh, uh she's an author and she's writ written lots of she had a brain injury and she um, she basically wrote a lot of poetry that helped see the good the good side of life in a terrible time for her. So it's a kind of quite uplifting um, poetry and but but talking about her the tr the troubles in her life, but how she overcame those troubles, mm -hmm. which I thought it might be really good. And then on and that's at two o'clock on on thir on Wednesday. And then on Thursday at seven o'clock. We have a, a, a wonderful and energetic girl called Claire, and she has um, a, a house in Norfolk that she has redesigned. She's an interior designer. She's redesigned it, and she has lots of Shakespearean items and, uh, sh and Victorian items and actual items that belong to Queen Victoria. Um, so she's going to talk through all the things in her house that, that she has, and her um, her take on interior design, and then on Friday at two we have Shirley who's on here tonight, and Shirley's going to be doing a um, a relaxation uh, technique called Kui Jong. I always get it wrong, Shirley Kui Jong. Qi Gong. Qi Gong. I always get it wrong. Sorry. Yes, I I took me years to get it. Qi <laughs> Gong. So, uh, so that's really nice, and that that's just a half, a half hour, forty minutes of doing things like uh, um, pushing balls away, imaginary balls, and hugging things, and doing things like that. And it's really lovely and relaxing. It sounds it sounds weird, but it's really nice. So I encourage you all to join in as many of the things as you like to next week. You don't have to come to everything, but if you want to come to all of them, you can. If you want to come to none of them, you can. Uh, just um, they're they're there for you. Now this I've recorded this tonight, and this will go up again um, in the next couple of days onto our YouTube channel. So if there are any things that you want to recap, um, you can always look look online and, and see that they're, they're they're very popular the Sankar knitting um, uh, videos. So um, I, I don't know if you're all watching them five times each or whether they're unique views but <laughs> um they're, they're very popular and um uh, and there's lots more other there's lots of other things on there on the scottish women's institutes tv on youtube that, that um we've, we've done in the past okay so i'm going to hand over to me and me you can then um, you can give give everyone a are we um parting word of wisdom oh karen karen has a hand up karen do you have a hand up <coughs> want to ask a question yes there you go. Now that I got the right pattern, I ripped back a couple rows and started the thing. I just wanted to verify, May, did you say that to separate our three needles, we should do 26, 26, and 28 stitches? No, 28. 28, 28. In, in, my, in my pattern, it, for my pattern, it's 28, 24, and 28. 24 20 okay and when you guys are doing the make one the type of increase are you doing a make one left make one right or make one invisible well i, I don't uh, 
what, what we do is we'll, we'll lift a loop from the row underneath, put it on the needle and knit into the back of the loop. From the row underneath the current row. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I call that a make one invisible. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much. Brilliant. Thank you, Karen. That's great. That's great. So me, over to you. Thank you. I don't know if I can give any words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say, keep keep knitting. And as I said last week, it doesn't matter how slow you go, as long as you don't stop. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. Should we all give me a round of applause? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, me. Thank you, me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please keep filling <coughs> Womankind by SWI, the group and the page with your pictures of what you're doing because uh, because they're great, and then I can use them in the Women Together magazine, the SWI mm -hmm. Women Together magazine. So we haven't already um, looked at Womankind by SWI on Facebook. Please do, and and then ask to join the group as well because we do two, two different things. We have a we have the page and we have the group, and the group's more for you guys sharing your your thoughts and ideas and and pictures, and the page tells you what's coming up. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, May. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.